Okay, so this um, number seven, which we'll be doing today, it says um, seven smile in the mirror. So we have to um, solve this particular question and said we should write a program that prints lowercase alphabet in reverse mode followed by a new line. So we are not to use print f and put, we have to use put char and then our code should be in the main function where we can only use put char twice. We've been printing this, printing it a to z, so now we have to run it back. So in order to do that, so I'll use two methods to solve this and I'm going to show you. So which is using the while loop and the for loop, okay? So let me copy this and then let's go into it. So I'll come to my background over here. So these are the past ones I've done. So let's see. So the first one I'll be using is the while loop as usual. So what I'll do is I'll write um, my include. So I'm going to include my standard io.h so that all my functions can work properly so and then i'll uh, describe my function and i'll say the main is to print alpha bet reverse reverse reversely let me just leave it like that and then my return i'll set my return to to zero for now and then i will write my int main and then i'll give it a void because i have no parameter for now and then i would uh, write this okay so the first thing i want to do is the usual way i'll use my char okay i think they didn't restrict us from using char and i will initialize our char um this i want to give it alphabet so let me just give it our uh, alpha it, or let me just give it i i is for alphabet just know it is i so you can give it any name okay so for simplicity i'm giving it i and i'm giving it a value z because i'm starting from z right so i want to start from z so i'll start from z and then i'll end it and then i'll go to my body and then write my value okay and then the inside the code so i'll write to state my condition that as far as i is um is it greater than so let's use greater than or equal to a okay so z is greater than equal to a so as far as it is true it's going to print what is inside so it's going to print um so we use put char it should print i okay and then we say i plus plus okay so we'll end it with a new line right okay and then write our return value to be zero okay so what we are doing is we're saying that i is z z is less than a right so it's going to print z then instead of incrementing it, we we'll decrease it because we want it to be decreasing. Okay, i minus minus. So this one would um, decrease it from z to y. So y is less than this till it gets to a. Okay, so with this, I think we should be good. Okay, so let me bet it the file seven. Okay, better say we are good. So let us just compile it and then let us execute it so we have our z to a right so the second method so for the second method i'll copy my seven and then i'll give it another file called seven point dot c okay so i'll open my seven point dot c and then i'm going to edit it so what i want to change here i'll change my while loop to for loop okay so the thing is for loop right and then this i equals to z i'll remove it and bring it down i equals to z right so i'll come here and say i is equals to z right and then that's that's that so the z is in quote single quote right and then comma and then colon so this i minus minus i'll write it here and then I will remove this one. And with this, my code should run. 
So all I'll do is get C. So I'll print C. Say we are good. Then I will GCC compile it. So say we are good. Then I will run it. And then we have our Z3. So that's all for now. See you in the next video.